Good morning and welcome to The Formula, episode 29. I've had a brainwave this morning. I woke up and I knew exactly what episode we needed to film because of two emails that I received this morning which I thought were brilliant. And I'm not even talking about what was in, this, in, in the um, emails. I'm talking about what was made up as a subject line. It was brilliant and made me open those emails. So it made me think this is something that I use every day, that my team use every day that the people that are really important in my businesses use all the time, and I need to teach you guys how to work the same way because it really, really does make a difference. So we're talking about email subject lines today, okay? Um, and I'm not talking about, on this one, we're not gonna talk about email subject lines as if you're gonna send a broadcast. So if you're sending a broadcast out to try and sell your product or get people to, onto your newsletter or whatever it is, we're not talking about that today. We're talking about the subject lines, the emails that go between you and your suppliers on a daily basis, you and your prospects on a daily basis, your clients on a daily basis. The emails that I've received today, which are, I've had 23 emails so far today and it's the first thing in the morning. Now, bar the ones I'm gonna talk about, I wasn't interested, it was all a load of rubbish. Um, how many emails do you send every day? How many emails do you receive every day? Hundreds, probably. I mean, I know that I probably send, I don't know, 60 emails a day. Now, they're people, this is the thing, they're people that I send emails to every day, okay? My staff, my suppliers, the people who run my CRM system, the companies that run my um, email marketing, all this sort of stuff. But I, want, I treat them like they are a prospect or a client as well. I want them to take note of my email and my message before anyone else's. And the only way to do that is get someone interested in what they see. So you've got your inbox. We receive emails all day. What is it that makes you open an email? A, you've got a name coming in. So if you recognize that name, that's fine. So if someone you're always doing business with or you know you're gonna get something from, um, if there's a deal there, you're waiting for a sign off or a confirmation, yes, you're gonna open their email first. But I'm talking about every other email that goes through. Here, I've just had one. So here we go. This is what I want on my laptop in front of me. Amy Stone, invitation reminder, hyphen MIB. I mean, what a load of crap. And I tell you what, the ultimate one day sales masterclass, and that's their subject line. I mean, it's just, and these guys are supposed to be teaching us, you're supposed to be going here to learn how to sail. I know you need to come onto a webinar because you can learn a lot more than going there. But anyway, so let's go into, I'm going to go into in a couple of examples here about this. The way I want you to think about writing a subject line. So if you're writing a email to someone based around, um, they've just come in from an inquiry to your business, they're inquiring about your product or they're inquiring about your service. Let's say you spend 10, 15 minutes, and if you're not spending 10, 15 minutes on an inquiry into your business, then you need to watch more of these videos and you need to watch some of the webinars that I do because that's really, really important. There's a big difference between answering a call, answering an email, and just giving them what they need and not finding anything else more about them because that's just what your competitors are doing. And if you want to stand out in the marketplace and you want to win big, you've got to do a lot more than what your competitors are doing. Don't copy your competitors, unless your competitor is the absolute bollocks. Even then, actually, you've got leaders in the market. Remember, they become sloths. A lot of the time, they become just very slow. They don't do things properly. They've had that sort of entrepreneurial massive lift over the years, and now they're just kind of a bit boring, and everything's just a bit crap. Keep to your entrepreneurial way of thinking about win, 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 win. Okay, so you've, written, you've, you've had someone come in 10, 15 minutes long, you should have asked loads of questions. You should really fact find about what that individual or that company is trying to achieve and how you're going to help them get to their goals, yeah? So you need to portray this in your email. And I, some examples here. So obviously we work in um, data. You're obviously in completely different areas. But this one, I always start off, I tell my guys to always start off with their first name. So. I, I, I switch this, when we're doing cold email marketing, we will put a name in to a subject line, but not always. But when I'm doing emails, just going back and forth all day long to different people, I'll always put, I, st I start with their email in the subject line. So I won't go, blah, 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 here, here's the information you requested. They open the email, hi John, here's the information you requested, because you're just repeating it. And I like to start off with, in the subject line, Adrian, when am I going to get? When I'm, when am I going to put you in front of new business 
or Aggie, how are we going to increase your sales and your wallet with our data? Then it will open the email and I'll carry on talking as normal. A lot of the time, it might be things like, can you just do this for me, dot, 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 dot. Hey Frank, I really need this done really quick, I was wondering if you could. But it's intriguing, the subject line's intriguing, and makes people want to open it. So the two I, I got this morning was literally one that I got five minutes ago off my copywriter. Now I know that he's been waiting for me to send him over some fave typical. He's been waiting for me to send over some Facebook ads, just as examples um, for some things, put that on silent. So we're doing a lot of testing around Facebook ads and stuff like that. His subject line was nudge, dot, 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 nudge. So nudge, nudge. It's made me think, okay, so what, is, what does he want? I'm gonna click into it. And I knew what it was about. I have actually sent this. Alicia, we should have sent this email. I think you have actually. We've got another one here from my sales director which he sent last night, I saw this more this morning. I'm so excited, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, I can't sleep, dot, 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 dot. That could be used for so many things, couldn't it? So if you've got a new product launch or um, you've got a new service that you're trying to get in front of your prospects or your clients, why not start with that? I'm so excited, I can't sleep. It's intriguing, someone's gonna open off the back of that. Bad ones. Um, here we go. Here's one cold. Your PPI inquiry. I didn't even inquire. Um, TripAdvisor hotel, Hope, hotel urban. Just really bad. And these are these are like, what time? Are we? That's one of mine actually. Yeah. What time are we on a call with force? Question mark. Questions are a really really good thing to do. That's really good. Keep going with those. So always ask a question in a subject line. It gets people to, to want to open your email. Obviously, you need to make your email then as good as your subject line. Every line in an email is to get the person to read the next and keep them going as far as you can. Um, just had a thought, okay? I think that's pretty good because people are gonna open that sort of email. Um, how is the data going to make you some more money? Could I ask for one Opportunity. So if you're having trouble getting into someone and you're unsure of what to write, could I ask for one opportunity? And you could put Dave at the end, could I ask for one opportunity, Dave? Um, there's lots of different things here. So I've got in front of me, got a list of over a thousand, fifteen hundred, all different types. Now I've, I'm going to look through these today and I'm going to put these on a PDF that Alicia's very kindly going to sort out for me because I have no idea how to do that sort of stuff. So she's going to PDF it, and then at the link at the bottom of this email on YouTube, we call it the description area. So the link at the bottom will be where you can link here. It'll take you to a landing page where you can download these email subject lines. And they're going to be in as, as much as possible in a way that you can use them for your own business. There will, will be some. You just want to add stuff to it. Um, here we go. Adam, are you pushing your sales, hitting those targets, and growing your wallet? Question mark. It just makes people think differently. Amanda, congratulations. Congratulations on what? That's the point. Um, what have we got? I highlighted some others in here. Can we catch up? When do you have when do you have a sec? And just write it like that. Don't have to write the word second. Just write sec. Keep in lowercase if you want to. Here are a hundred clients for you and your team to make appointments to pitch your product. So they're going to be under here. Um, if you're on my email list, you're going to get an email today or tomorrow, which will be um, presenting these and it'll give you a click to the link through. But either way, it's going, to take, it's going to take you to the landing page, wherever you are, and you can download all these and use them in your own marketing. So basic, to conclude, write in your subject line as if you were starting the email there. It works really well. Put a first name in the subject line. So Adam, comma, how can we get you in front of any more new business? Is there anything we can do today? I wanted to have a quick chat, what's a good time for you, or whatever it might be, and then carry on the rest of the email in the, subject, in the, in the main email template. Okay, that's it. Like below as many times as you can. It really, really helps the channel. I'm really trying to pick it up um, and get it out there. So like below, smash the like button as they all say, and let's go. Brilliant, I'll see you on episode 30.